guess that means it's time for review. What does this and that and that all have in common? Now let's put that in the middle and that there. Let's give some room here. You're right. Something CO2 powered it. 50 cal. Oh, it's not actually 50 cal. But it's not. It says 50 cal. So, ta-da! Maybe it is 50 cal. CO2 powered. The TR50. I've seen a lot of good things about it. Now this is only the seven jewel, you know, no big deal. I do have plans as soon as the parts become available to upgrade this to the 11 jewel, making it slightly more powerful. But let's see what we got in the box, shall we? Because I ain't opened it yet, so I don't know. We got a thank you. We have our destruction manual, which if you're going to get something like this, I highly, highly recommend you reading the instruction manual. It's pretty decent. Um, let's see. Winworks does a good job of explaining everything. It does look like this is in seven different languages. Several different languages, sorry. Somebody driving a lawnmower by me at the moment. We got our infamous bubble wrap. Not very loud though. Oh, sorry, we're doing a video. We've got this little boy. And underneath here, we got some accessories. Let's get rid of the box. One of these days, that cat's just gonna get in the wrong place at the wrong time. Right? Right. All right, let's see what we got in the baggie. We have Oh, one, two, three, four mags. Don't do it. Get up there. We have an Allen wrench. So, looks like we're going to have some fun here. Now, there's a few things about this. Um, your Allen wrench is to tighten and loosen this. It comes pretty tight from the factory. Take a CO2. Now I got a whole box of them. You put it in, what you would think is upside down. And it goes. Then you take and reinstall this. Now it doesn't have to be all that tight. It would just finger tighten and just snug it just a little bit. It doesn't take much. And when you're ready to put ready to use it, because right now, it's not gonna do nothing. There's the fifth mag. We got five magazines. We good. When you're ready to use it, you sit there and pop the bottom. That'll charge your cylinder in here. Pierce, pierce, da, 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 pierce the cylinder and charge it. Then you just take and load up your desired ammo. I'll do it this way. That way I'm not. Ooh, that one's, one's kind of tight. Uh, we'll do it from the other side. They seem to go in a lot easier this way. And there's six shot, as you can see. No, I'm not going to charge it and load it right now. That's for another video. This is just an unboxing. These are uh, rubber steel balls. These are rubber and uh, steel powder mix. They're fairly heavy and they're designed to go with this. When you push this in, you put the little cogwheel toward the back. It slides right in. You take and release this level lever. You know it's in place. And you just rotate this until it kind of clicks into place. And that way you know you've got one in the chamber. Feel. It's got some girth to it. You know, if you wanted to take put a sight up top and uh, lie down to the bottom for home defense, 
um, there are cases where this would be sufficient for home defense. In the 7 joule model, I'm not so sure, which is why I'm going to upgrade it to 12 joule. Um, if you want to understand what all that means, you're going to have to go look it up. I ain't got time to visit you to explain it all. But, um, I am going to get used to it in the 7 joule model. And then we're going to upgrade it to the 12 as soon as the parts become available, because they're not available at this moment. Or they'd have been on the way too. So, another little side note, this does have an int integral safety. Um, well, it's like some of your firearms. You know, if you don't hit the safety, it doesn't move. And if now, little thing I forgot to mention earlier. When you sit there and pop this, when you smack it, it doesn't take much of a smack, but you do have to smack it. Right here, you'll see this little needle pop up. <coughs> Excuse me. Once it's up, that's also your degassing button. So you're not trying to take this out with a chamber full of air. You sit there and hold that down and you can empty the air out of it. Let's say you've ran two or three mags, it's not shooting it where it was. Sit there and press that down. And then you can take this out, put a new one in, keep right on going. But for now, that's what we got to look at. I do have something else coming too that's uh, even more fun, shall we say. Um, boy, that's a pretty big hole. Now, I will add this. They do not recommend using this stuff with the 12 Jewel model. This is pepper spray. This is for home defense. No, I am not going to be testing these out. A, these aren't cheap. And B, I don't feel like coughing and choking and puking for 30 minutes. And then standing in the shower for an hour. I'm not doing it. I love y'all, but I'm sorry. I can't take that one for the team. But I can practice with these, and we'll take you along for the ride when we get out there to do it. So, this is the Umarex. Uh, where'd the box go? Move, cat! The TR50. Seven jewel model. And they do make a holster for it, so you can sit there and uh, carry it if you wish. I may pick one of those up eventually. Um, but, yeah. Uh, as far as the sights go... Yeah, I may have to take and uh, put a little red dot on the sights so my old eyes can make them out better. But uh, yeah, I think it'll work. So that's it for this one. We'll have more later. See ya!